The moment I've been waiting on, the Hoka One One Zinal. Man, these uh these shoes are extremely nice. So the lugs are actually a lot better than I thought. So when I was reading over the description and looking at over everything, the lugs look smaller on other uh, other pictures. But these are actually like really good good grips. But what amazes me about these things is that they are extremely light. Like, I mean, these are lighter than the Mach fours. I think they feel like it. So for trail shoes, man, you you will fly in these things. Wow. Let's get the the others out. Let's weigh, uh, weigh these bad boys out and see how much they weigh. Man, I'm actually, so one thing that I really like about these shoes is the color scheme. As soon as I saw like the cyan uh, turquoise blue color with the orange on it, I had to get this color. Um, I think they offer two different colors right now, but this is my favorite color, so I picked it. But it's extremely light. Um, man, the upper looks really, so what's, Looks really good. What's amazing about this is like they look like, like the Arahis. I don't know if that's just me, but they look like Arahis that have been turned into trail shoes and you've lost a little bit on the midsole. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Not 100%, uh, but it just has that look to it. So let's uh, let's take a look at these and just see how much they weigh. So these are for me men's 10 and a half. Um, and I got a little scale. I'm gonna bring the scale in here. Let's see. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. Ten and a half men's come in and 8.99 ounces. So, for grams, let's see, that is um, 255 grams. So, 255 grams or 8.99 ounces, so right at 9 ounces. But for a trail shoe, that's like extremely light. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the speed goats are. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those and compare them, but the speed goats are uh, significantly heavier and bigger and bulkier than uh, the Hoka One One Zenals. I'm very impressed with these. I cannot wait to take them out on a run. If I could do a comparison with the Mach Force right here, Mach Force Hoka One One Zenals, and the uh, speed goat fours all are size 10 and a half um, and if I could just I guess do a little bit of a comparison let's lay these out so let's look at this real quick so here's the uh, mock fours uh, compared to the Zenals and I can't tell which one's lighter um, I really can't let's let's do this so if we could compare both like that so the Mach 4 on top and the Zanals on bottom. Um, man, I'm not sure actually which one is lighter. So let's do a uh, weight comparison. So we said that these were 8.99 ounces or 255, 256 grams. So we're going to do a comparison with the um, Mach 4s at 10 and a half. Um, let's see. Okay, so these are 8.5 ounces, 8.47 ounces. So actually the Zanals are a little bit heavier, but you can barely tell. But the crazy thing about it is like, these are road running shoes and this is a trail shoe. Um, very lightweight, seems to be pretty durable on the lugs, but like, I mean, it's barely heavier than the Mach 4, which are kind of like daily trader shoes. So like, I'm pretty impressed, but I wonder, my question is how can these uh, Zanals hold up? That's that's gonna be the question. Uh, so then if we had to do a comparison with the Speed Goats, now these are Speed Goat 4s. I think I probably have almost 200 miles on them. Um, so for these, they're 11.11 11, 11 ounces, and in grams, that's gonna come out to be 315 grams. So significantly heavier. Um, and, and these have some wear on them, as you can see my lugs, and just the, the bottom has been uh, wore out, out here at the Las Vegas trails. Uh, the rocks out here will definitely do that. Um, but the crazy thing about it is like, this is, a, this is like the GOAT. So the Speed GOAT 4, it's the GOAT of the uh, trail running 
community shoe. Like many people around here in Las Vegas have the speed goats. Um, it's rare when they don't uh, because you want to ask them why. <laughs> but I mean, these are great for out here, uh, you know, out here in Las Vegas, but they're heavy and kind of bulky, but they do their job well. But these, the Zanals are extremely light and if we can do a lug comparison on the bottom, um, you can see that the lugs are not, I mean, they're not that bad overall. Like the, the way the speed gut grips versus the way uh, it grips on the Zanal is going to be pretty interesting. I think they're, they're gonna be pretty good. The big difference you can see is the midsole right here. There's nothing here except for foam here on the mid, mid, uh, midsole, but here you do have some lugs on the midsole of the Speed Goat. So that definitely does help with your grip um, and stability, um, but it doesn't look like you have um, any type of like grip or stability right here on the midsole. So I am wondering how that's going to hold up on the trail. Now for the Zanals, the upper is actually really, it, it looks like it has a really good lockdown uh, on it. Um, Again, it kind of looks like the Arahis when it comes to the upper and um, how it's laid out. Uh, notice right here too on the tongue. So the, the tongue is really skinny and just lightweight, very breathable. Uh, this shoe looks like a very breathable shoe. Um, and it, there is a semi-gusted tongue inside of it. So uh, the, the tongue should stay in place pretty well. But overall, I mean, it looks pretty breathable. The upper looks like it's gonna lock your foot down pretty good. Um, as far as the toe box, it does seem to be a little bit narrow. Um, if I could, I guess, compare with the Mach 4s, um, it does look a little bit narrow, if we could see that with a decent perspective. Um, seems to be a little bit skinnier there. Um, and you can also see on the very bottom, compared to the Mach 4s, the Mach 4s look like they have a just a bigger, um, bigger uh, toe box for support at on the very bottom of your forefoot. Versus here, it's a very narrow shoe. So I am pretty interested about that to see how that's going to work for me. I have skinny feet, and yet at the same time, I really do like a bigger toe box to give me more room because when you're out there on longer runs and you get really hot, your feet tend to swell and, and do things like that. So it's always good to have a little bit little bit more room versus not have enough because when you don't have that, you find some rips on the side. Um, and that's, you know, that, that's very common when shoes are too, either too small or very narrow. So for the Hoka and uh, Zanal, uh, the shoe has a five millimeter drop. Um, so that's the heel to toe drop, five millimeter. That's the standard Hoka uh, drop for most shoes. You have the Bondi that have the four millimeter and other shoes have the four, but the standard uh, Hoka is five millimeter drop. Um, I really enjoy the five. Um, I ran in ultras a bit, so probably maybe 1500 miles in ultra shoes and sort of having Achilles tendon problems. So then uh, I initially started with Brooks and Nike around the 10 to 12 millimeter drop. And then Hoka is where I settled and uh, it's where our, my wheelhouse is. Really love the four to five millimeter drop. But Zenal has the five millimeter drop and the lugs on the bottom are four millimeter lugs as it says on the website. So the Hoka One One Zanal is coming in at a price point of $160 on the website right now. They just released this shoe. Uh, they had pre-orders and they shipped out um, July the 1st. And today is July the 2nd, uh, 2021, and I just received my shoe. So um, shipping was, was really fast for ex expedited shipping through Hoka website. Uh, but I look forward to taking the Zanal out on a trail. And so overall, take on this shoe. The shoe looks really good. I love the color schemes. It's light coming in uh, at 8.99 ounces for a men's 10 and a half. So it's really light, looks good, very durable. The upper is very breathable, has a seminated gusseted tongue on it. Um, very good grip for, uh, for it being so light. Um, I think that's gonna do really well on the trails and shine for short races. Um, even short runs, you know, six to 10 miles on the trails. Uh, maybe we're gonna test that out and see how that goes. But overall, I'm very impressed with this shoe. It looks good. I'm gonna take it out and break it in tomorrow and uh, we're gonna have a good time. And um, I don't know, 
uh, comment down below if you have any questions about the Zanal or uh, if you own a pair of them, what you like about it, what you dislike about it. And if you have any questions, let me know uh, because I definitely would like to hear back from you guys. Um, but yeah, Hoka Zanal, price point $160, HokaOneOne.com. You could probably find it on RunningWarehouse.com. But yes, check it out, get it. Uh, very good shoe, looks good. Look forward to breaking it in. Uh, remember, if you would, just hit the like button at the bottom left and subscribe right over here. And uh, look forward to uh, taking these out on the trails. And hi.